everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to easily cut up some fresh broccoli. Now you can see I have a lot of fresh broccoli here that I'm going to be cutting up and you don't have to watch me cut up all of that. But I wanted to show you the basic principles. It's really not hard to deal with. I've already cut off the bottom end where it was originally cut from the stalk and I don't cut much. I'm talking about about like that. I mean we're looking at about a quarter of an inch. Just You just want to remove that dead end that's off of there. Now, just to make my life a little bit easier, I'm going to cut the stalk off, but I do not throw it away. I will use it. And what I like to do is use a paring knife to remove the woody part of the stalk. I do like to use the, the stalk. Actually, the stalk is my favorite part of the broccoli. And <clears throat> I know a lot of people just throw it away. I don't like to do that because it's edible. Once you get the woody part off, it's just like the rest of the stalk that's up here close to the florets. There's nothing wrong with it at all and people just don't want to eat it. You could also, if you're not comfortable with paring knife, you could also use a vegetable peeler like this to remove it. It might take a little bit more effort to get that off. But you see, I actually, it's probably better because I'm removing less and saving more of the broccoli. Now one other way you can tackle this, if there are a lot of little branches coming out of the stalk, you can take your sharp knife and just barely run it down the sides of the stalk to remove those bumps that are there. You got to be careful. Sharp knife. You don't want to hurt your fingers in any way. Just do that. Just to get them out of the way. And then your vegetable peeler will be a lot easier to use to get the woody part off of the stalk. See, it's just it's really not hard. Yeah, it does take a little effort. It's a lot easier to throw it in the garbage, but why would you throw it in the garbage if it's good to eat? Why would you throw it in the garbage if it's good to eat? I wouldn't. Now, <clears throat> this is ready to go and cut in whatever size pieces I want. I am going to just slice this into roughly a quarter of an inch pieces and I am going to be cooking this broccoli in different ways. I'll probably make some videos out of them and I like to cook it lightly and just have it in our salad as well as other ways. And so now I'm just cutting into it to remove the florets. Now what I don't do is just start chopping because when you just cut like this and you cut into this part, you have these little pieces all over the place. And that is unnecessary. It makes a real big mess and it's not necessary to do that. So all I'm doing <clears throat> is cutting into the stalk part itself. I'm not cutting into the florets, not cutting into the florets, just the stalk. And there may be some mess here, but it will be minimized. Just minimal. Now let's say this does not need to be cut up. Uh, let's pick a bigger one. First of all, I'm going to cut into the stalk as much as I need to take off. Now, a lot of people would just cut this in half, just like that. I'm not going to do that. I cut only into the stalk of it, only into the stem there, not the top of it, and just split it with my fingers. And you see, I don't have the little bitty pieces dropping off, going all over creation. Okay, those I'm not going to worry about splitting up. That's a small enough florette. This is a large one. Let me show you another one cutting off whatever stalk I need to. Now there's just a little stubble 
of the stalk left, but that's all I'm going to cut through. I'm just taking the tip of the knife and going through that, and then I'm going to just, with my fingers, divide it. And you see I don't have the mess. I'm going to split this one in two. And again, I'm just going to cut through that stalk just a little, separate it with my fingers, and the top part tends to stay intact that way where you just don't have the mess that you might have had otherwise. I don't like that part there that I see. And I'm just breaking this apart. Now here's a large one. Uh, again, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Just cutting into the stalk a little bit, breaking it apart with my fingers, and you see it does not drop a lot of that top part all over the place. It stays intact. I see some there that don't like the way it looks at like, so I'm getting rid of that. Okay, so that's basically all there is to it. I'm trying to cut it into <clears throat> bite-sized pieces that will cook up pretty easily. Here's another large one. I'll show you one more time. Just cutting into the stem, but not far enough to cut this top part. Splitting it with my fingers and just pulling it apart and it stays intact. It's cool. I like doing it that way. It just makes a lot less mess. And then when they're cooked, they tend to stay together better that way as well. So I just prefer it and I wanted to share this method of cutting broccoli with you so that maybe it would help you out making lots less mess in the kitchen and it's easy. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. I sure hope this helps. Have a great day.